It's often said that to know where you're going, you've got to know where you've been. Kamo Kamnidi, walking backwards into the future. Well, for us here at Heartland, we've done a bit of travelling. Our Whakapapa stretches all the way back to 1875. We started in Ashburton as an Ashburton Permanent Building and Investment Society. Since then, we've expanded across Aotearoa, helping and supporting our local communities along the way. What are the origins of Heartland? Well, I think its predecessors go back to 1875, when, when the forerunners of Canterbury Building Society were established in Ashburton. Uh, well, Heartland I always saw as, um, as people helping people and I saw it was one positive way that we could add to a community by having uh, efficient funding available for people to carry on their lives. Difficult times in the early, early, in the global financial crisis, so in many ways the three parties were a coalition of the willing um, because they knew they were stronger together and the best chance to get a banking licence was to put it all together and create the merger. I guess the long-term vision was that we saw an opportunity to establish a bank in New Zealand. I, I always look at a business like Heartland and say that we're only successful if in fact um, we reflect the community that we live in. So if you look at the community that we live in and you look at the ethnic diversity, you look at the age diversity, uh, and look at gender and all of those sorts of things, we have to reflect that to be successful. And, uh, and we're heading well down that track. So when I started here in uh, October 2013, I could probably count on one hand the number of females in senior positions at Heartland. That has completely changed now. You look around the table, the strategic management group is actually um, dominated by females. We've got more females than men at the moment. Um, but over the last couple of years, it's changed from being um, a very male-dominated senior leadership team to now being quite well balanced. We've, we've in fact created a new culture out of those uh, those previous entities, and which which is unique to to Heartland. With diversity of thought, we get more ideas around the table, we get more solutions to problems, um, we get inspiration and innovation. So the more different perspectives we have around the table and taking part in what we do, the better we'll all end up. Something that we take a lot of pride in is the diversity that we have amongst our people. This is something beyond just ticking boxes and an important part of our business. We're committed to making Māori language and culture something in our workplace that is a normal part of everyday life around here and we see that as a really important foundation to build our diversity space. In 2017, Heartland launched its first ever summer internship program, which aims to provide an insight into the corporate working world for our young leaders. Being digital is one of Heartland's core strategic focuses. And so although we're an old business, we also want to become digital leaders within the banking industry. Focusing on being digital means we can separate ourselves from other banks and challenges us to continue to deliver great customer outcomes. Heartland's all about being digital, about making it easy and simple and frictionless for customers. Underpinning all that is our ability to get stuff done quickly and in an agile and speedy manner. We've created a lot more opportunities and we do a lot more than we used to do. And that, I think that's going to be fantastic for our people. And it, it, it also means that people can grow with Heartland and Heartland can grow with the people. And I, I think that's, a, 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 that's, that's exciting for us. The thing I really love about it really is the way our people have embraced them and how quickly they've become part of who Heartland is. The symbols are fantastic. Uh, the the um, the way 
the, and the words are fantastic, of course. Uh, but I think the real test is that people use them. I hear them in, uh, in conversations. Uh, people are proud of them. I invested in Heartland because it was, I saw it as a great opportunity to invest in, firstly, a New Zealand business, New Zealand run, New Zealand managed, and looking after the whole New Zealand community. Tamori or Heartland is a mural that was created by uh, Manawa Ako uh, and it follows the passage of life. It starts in the South Island, Te Wai Pānamu. A kuya and a mokapuna are surveying the beautiful landscape. This is the beginning of our journey where we learn values. The tohu tohu which symbolise these values are incorporated into the painting. Mahi Tahi be one team, Mahi Toa had big ambition, mahi tipu, evolve and grow, mahi tika, above all, do the right thing. Heartland is our manawa whenua. We are united like a whanau, symbolised by the United Tribes flag. The tui stands for fulfilment and harmony, and the pikoka, or cabbage tree, represents strength and independence. Finally, we move on towards Cape Reina, Tawirana Wairua where the spirits depart. And then we return to the beginning and the life cycle begins again.